Welcome to the Protocase Designer video tutorial on viewing controls. This video will show you how to use the basic viewing controls in Protocase Designer including rotate, pan, zoom, show hide parts, toggle, flat, vent, reset view, and view preferences. To change the view of your enclosure, you can use the rotate, pan, and zoom controls. To rotate your model, click and hold the left mouse button anywhere in the main window then drag your cursor around the screen. To pan your model, click and hold the right mouse button anywhere in the main window, then drag your cursor around the screen. To zoom your model, you use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Move the scroll wheel forward to zoom out and view your entire enclosure, or move the scroll wheel backwards to zoom in and view the details of your enclosure. You can then use the rotate and pan tools to look at specific areas. To allow viewing the inside of your enclosure, you can hide parts using the Show Hide Parts command under the View menu. A dialog will open allowing you to select which parts to show or hide. I'll hide the top and rear parts by clicking their checkboxes to deselect them. You can now see inside your enclosure and behind the front face. I'll now show the top and rear parts again by following the same steps. If you would like to see how your enclosure looks before the parts are bent, you can select Toggle Flat from the View menu or click on the Bent or Flat buttons on the toolbar. If you ever want to reset your view to the default view, you select Reset View from the View menu. The last item I'll show you are the preferences which you can find under the edit menu. This dialog allows you to change the units for defining the size of your enclosure as well as when placing cutouts hardware and silkscreen on the faces. You can adjust the default grid size used in the face editor as well as the background color used when viewing your enclosure in the main window or in the face editor. This can help provide more contrast depending on the color of your enclosure. I'll change the background color to a blue to provide more contrast against the enclosure. Thank you for watching this Protocase Designer video tutorial. Watch more video tutorials to learn all the features of Protocase Designer.